Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> I am so excited because this is one of my favorite songs. And I think she is one of my favorite vocalists at the moment. It's this Clarice is Clarice de Guzman. De Guzman. Yeah, singing What's Up for Non Blondes. Just give it a watch. This song is like an <laughs> anthem in my life. That's what I say all the time, apparently. Pause, pause. Oh, yeah, you do. That's a, that's a jumper. Pause, 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 oh, pause. Oh, wow. I need that jumper. Yes. Clarice, mate, if you watch this ever, as if. It's <laughs> just. As if. Drop me the link. <laughs> drop me the link. I'll yeah, buy one. I'll cut one. It's like, a, it's like a mini version of a cajon. It's a cajita. It's a cajita. Holy shit. I love that woman. Uh, sing it, girl. Sing it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god, I love her voice. I literally of, could listen to her all day. That type of voice, I've said it before, like there's certain, certain women that have a specific voice. It's that because is so attractive. she's an alto and it's so freaking good. And I love this song. <laughs> and I love her too when god. I <laughs> <laughs> scream from the top of my lungs. Uh. Oh, what's going on, right? Ooh. It's so freaking like tasteful. It's elegant. It is. What's going on? She's elite. And it's a tambourine. You know what I mean? Oh, it does. It does have it. Oh, it does. If she actually did record that with that little box thing, cajon, it's not a cajon, it's like a mini version of a cajon, a Spanish Ca cajon. Cajita. Yeah, in Spanish it would be, I don't know, cajita. A little yeah. box, cajita. Little box. But it wouldn't be, that's not actually a name for this instrument. But um, nice. if she actually did record it with that, that kick drum, what it's trying to replicate, that sounds pretty clean to me. It is, I think it's really well equalized. Like I'm actually pretty pumped because today I'm, I get to actually play uh, mm. quite a while. Set, I have my whole set. Uh, and um, but that's really good. Mm -hmm. If that that. Why are you hitting yourself? That's so weird, man. What? That? Yeah, doesn't it... God. That does actually sound like cardboard. Oh my friend, that is creepy as hell. Doesn't hurt. You know when I used to get angry playing tennis. I have too much meat. It doesn't sound like that. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Bone. <laughs> Bone. Yeah. When I used to when I used to Bone. when I used to get angry or really angry playing tennis, you grab a racket. Because you don't want to break the racket, right? You hit it here. Like that. Oh, really, God. really strong. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. I think also this bit of me is dead. I think you might have... Because we hit it yeah, so much. But I the thing you is, you get killed. really angry. And then you you might have... Yeah, I think you might have, you know, Same killed a one. few nerves there. This <laughs> one, I feel nothing, mate. Yeah. I don't think that's a great sign. <laughs> but, you know... Too late now. <laughs> yeah. you, can't, you can't repair nerve damage, can you? No. It's unrepairable. It is. There you go. So yeah. we live with the consequences. That's what happens when you live on the edge. <laughs> but I would never, I would never do anything dangerous though. Just but that. live on the edge. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? I love your philosophy of life. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, nice big room reverb. No one uses that anymore. I know, but it's so nice though. It's really well mixed, this track. Well, yeah. It's very well mixed. Oh, nice. Nothing better than an F major, is it? Indeed. This is a three chord wonder and it's a freaking blast. F major? <laughs> yeah.
Oh my god. She's luxurious, dude, the way she sounds. The inclusion of those falsettos. Oh my god, I thought I was tripping balls. important inclusion because they also included a lot of vocal performance into the song they'll be out, out there like wow 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 mom <clears throat> i'll help you do wacky vocals oh the same as like when moira de la torre had his dog no but her dog is the spoiled dog passing out isn't he he gets to get you know sung to sleep by moira de la torre it's not the same dog though is it no is it two different dogs it's obviously two different dogs i don't know maybe in one bit he had a haircut the other bit didn't no That's what it looks like. they're completely all right. I don't. I can't tell any breeds. Come on. I just know one. They're totally different. I know one breed. Chihuahuas. Actually, two, two. Chihuahuas mm -hmm. and huskies. Oh, because you want a husky. I wanted. You wanted. I like the idea of dogs tense. just being free again. Oh. <laughs> yeah. A bit too late. Generational. <laughs> generational. Dom, 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 what? How do you? We domesticated. Yeah, we've domesticated the poor things. Uh, yeah. Now they can't go back out in the wild. They'll die. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we're probably, yeah, probably so, best like, that I they, mean, they stay mates with humans, actually. I know, like, think about the idea of a pug out in the wild. <laughs> that poor Oof. thing, that they will not, <laughs> you know? Imagine if maybe, like, in one point... A Frenchie out in the wild. All humans shall become eradicated, and this just... The, everything that <laughs> humans did, though, carries on. So, like, dogs, the domestication of dogs, like cows and all that stuff. Chickens being absolutely useless, you know. <laughs> Chickens are so funny because they can't even fly. Yeah, yeah. so all of this. It's like, like penguins. And then you know maybe humans start. <laughs> so sad. Humans start up again, you know, years, you know, hundreds of years ago. Evolution and then when they look and they look at the fossils and they try to replicate the animals, it's like a sausage dog, <laughs> you know, running around trying to run away from a crocodile again. <laughs> A pug trying to hunt a rabbit, you know what I mean? A pug could never. <laughs> you know how pugs make that weird noise? <laughs> yeah. They sound like little piggies. They do. <laughs> you know, they're hilarious. I love pugs, they're so weird, I love them. And, and then they're trying and to. And they're like have stucky eyes as well, they're so funny. Yeah, and it'll be so funny, but like a cat. Imagine, imagine a freaking chihuahua trying to hunt something. I think chihuahuas would probably be the first ones to, to, to run become extinct. extinct. <laughs> yeah. Heart attack. <laughs> What's their biggest enemy? <laughs> Poor little things. They're adorable. They're like, they have like nerve damage in their brain. They kind of like come with a default setting. <laughs> yeah, there's something off of them, isn't it? They're adorable, but they're so They're off. so cute. Yeah. I want like 20. Not gonna lie, they're so funny. But that would be very interesting if that's what's to happen. <laughs> yeah, but, anyways, yeah. I like the idea of just them um, being free again. <laughs> but, not, but not really now that I thought about it. I mean, bro, like. Golden Retrievers now communicate with stickers. Yeah, what the hell is that, dude? Hi, I love you, human. Like, walk, walk, walk. Now, now. <laughs> Not later, later. Not later, later. Now, now. Now, now. <laughs> what? Like, what the? Yeah, I Not? know. Wow, dude. It's I'm crazy. so confused about that. And I've read a lot of psychology. <laughs> when it comes to animals trying to communicate with humans, actually. Mm -hmm. I've read plenty of studies when it comes Why? to that. That I was, well, like reading before bed. <laughs> <laughs> I've read so many studies on it okay. and research papers, and we haven't come to a conclusive place when it comes to animals being able to communicate with languages. Okay. Because a lot of those studies turn out to be bollocks. Oh, wonderful. anyways, bogus studies. Studies. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that's a great, you know, little break there from oh, the yeah, song. Sorry. <laughs> really, what's going on in your head? <laughs> Beautiful layers. Good little video, man. Oh, not 
needed, but here we are. Levels, levels to the game, bro. And the clarity of that. She's fantastic. What's the key of that song? D. F. But then she does what? E, B. Ah, freaking wonderful, Clarice! You ate that. Let me just check what the original key is because I, think it's F major. I sing it. I sing it in. I think. I think I sing it in an F, but I'm not completely sure. Right. Because it's a four chord wonder. You yeah. can literally transpose it to anything you like. To be yep. completely fair. I just want to see how uh, far she went. What's up? Original. I thought the song was called "What's Going On." Original. No, it's what's up. Oh. Original, uh, creepy. Original key. Key. By four non blondes. Yeah. Were they blondies? No. Were they? It, it, were they it's B minor. It's B minor, right? Yeah, B minor. Why do I sing it in F? I don't know. Maybe they, yeah, transposed it for you. No, because I could sing the original. I don't know. Oh. Anyway. Weird. There well, you go. Fun fact. Let us know what you thought about it. And uh, I think it's actually really nice because, like, some of the effects utilized are usually. Like that big room reverb and that kind of old school delay, you know, where it, it's uh, so it's a so it went it's from a one th second delay type uh -huh, of thing. Uh -huh. It's not in an uh, and it's really faded, like really like a like a stadium delay. Yeah, it's very echoey. It's more yeah, echo yeah. than delay. That's right. Um, so yeah, it, it's awesome that she kind of utilized this kind of old school for this old school cover. Well, it's very this cover. Uh, this song came out in the nineties, and yeah. it's. You know, heavily political, and it was super controversial. Uh, given you know the, the theme and thematic uh, thematics of the of the uh, scene in, for music industry, and uh, when this song came out, what is it about? Uh, it's about feminism. All oh, right. Yeah, it's about women standing up in the standing their ground in music in, in the music industry. Oh really? Yeah, because rock was being led by primarily male bands. Ghost. You know? Ghost. <laughs> Not agreeing, maybe agreeing, I don't know. Yeah, um, uh, yeah so this this girls decided that they wanted to also dominate in the, in the industry, but, you know, they were being kind of like, like shadow male dominated field. Yeah, because it was like seen as that. So yeah. so this is a, like, it, it became very relevant. And, because and of it's that. Yeah, and it's still very relevant. I think it's one of those immortal songs that it will go on regardless of the political um, agenda of the song itself but it's a great song and it's so heavily easy it like is super catchy anyone can sing along to this so it's, it's, a, it's song, a really actually, like. it's really well written mm. well let us know what you thought about it and also what else would you check out next that's right